afternoon. It's a cool afternoon here at the Mears Place, and I thought I'd come out. It's a beautiful time of day and just share a few verses of Scripture with you. It comes out of the book of Colossians. There are four things in here that are important for the Christian life. Beginning with verse 9 in the first chapter of Colossians, it reads, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to His glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us to meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. First thing is prayer. Our communion with God daily, wherever we go. I know I attempt to always be in an attitude of prayer and be sensitive to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. A friend of mine, Leo Humphrey, that I worked with him for 35 years on and off, uh, he always told the story about you know, how you're led by the Spirit. He was a radar technician in the Air Force, and he said you get positive and negative blips on a radar. He says in the spiritual life, you get positive blips from God and negative blips from the devil, and you have to be careful which one you listen to. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. If we can always listen to the positive blips, we'll be all right. But uh, prayer is an important part of our Christian life, and we need to walk in an attitude of prayer, always in a relationship with God, remember. And uh, God's always ready to lead you uh, to do things and to warn you about other things that you shouldn't be doing. But then he says that you might be filled with the knowledge of His will. You know, the only way we can know God's will is two ways. First of all, we have the Holy Spirit living in us uh, to lead us and to teach us and to show us and to guide us, to give us peace about things, and to also not give us peace if He's trying to warn us uh, uh, away from something. And so then we have, of course, the Word of God that uh, God's given us His Word. Wow, you know, I stopped and think about that a minute, that we have the Word of the living God in our hands. We're blessed. Oh, we're blessed beyond all measure. And then finally, or thirdly, that we might be walk worthy, that we might walk in a godly way. That's the purpose for having the Word of God and to having the Holy Spirit, that we might walk in a way that's pleasing to God daily and avoid those pitfalls that the devil's always going to bring along your path. And fourthly, that we might walk in the power of the Spirit. A pastor this morning talked about uh, walking in the Spirit so that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If we walk in the Spirit, in Christ daily, we can live that abundant life. It's when we get off the path and get into the flesh and uh, let that old nature flare up in our life rather than walk in the power of God and in this, and sensitive to God's will. Now walk according to the Word of God. Uh, see, it's destructive. Sin is always destructive in our life, and we have to be careful about being involved in sin because it always destroys something. It'll destroy your fellowship with God. It'll destroy relationships. Uh, it can destroy your life, literally. And so we need to avoid that and walk in the power of God and always be thankful. I think sometimes we complain too much. <laughs> I have nothing to complain about. I got aches and pains like everybody at my age, and I realize that my life on this earth is, is growing short. I've lived most of my life already. And so I thank God for Jesus who died and paid uh, the penalty for my sin and shed His precious blood that I might have eternal life and not have to fear death when it comes. And I don't fear death because I know Jesus lives inside of me. And He's taking care of me. Hey. He can take care of you today if you allow Him. Remember that now. Grow in the knowledge of God. Pray. Have the power of God. Walk in a worthy manner before the Lord. God bless you. Have a great day. That's a message from the cross.